We're just talk to a camera. If you want to feel awkward, start a vlog. Hey guys, welcome back to Yay Adventure. I'm Jeff and this is Jordan. And today we're going to tour our RV. It's a 2015 Newmar Dutch Star 4312 Class A Diesel Pusher Coach. This is a bunkhouse. We love it for full timing with our two kids. We also have a dog. We flat tow our Jeep and we're excited to adventure around the country. This is our living room. It's not the original set of furniture in here. It's a replacement set of furniture. Originally there was a jackknife over here um, under the TV. And then we had a full size sofa over here with a pull out or like a three seater couch over here that had an inflatable queen mattress fold out. But it was not the most comfortable couch and it didn't really fit our whole family. So we decided to swap it out. We really liked the super sofa that we had in our previous fifth wheel and so we tried to recreate that a little bit here what we did was get order two parts of a love seat and smoosh them together and it worked really well because having the two smaller sections allowed us to actually get it through the door so there's actually a, a break right here this is this is one section of the couch this is one piece this is a separate piece and then right here is the sectional joining part so and it is residential furniture, but yep. we decided uh, it was going to be the most comfortable, the most affordable, and easiest to get. Um, so we have anchored all the pieces down to the floor for safety. And then we also um, kind of cut some slits in the bottom and we pulled up all the seat belts um, from underneath. So we can actually um, travel with seven seat belted people. Um, driving down the road. We so, have three on the couch here, right? Yeah, three on the couch. And then two over two here on the, on the chairs, chairs. And then two. You know, the in the normal captain's right. chairs. Having the TV on a televator makes it um, not feel like it's just out all the time. Um, it gives us a little bit extra sunlight when we want it. Alrighty. And this way too, it's not that awkward angle you get sometimes, like watching TV yeah. on the side. That's we have one up here, which is great and it's helpful. We actually use it more than we thought we would because uh, they'll play the same thing, but that's not the only TV. So right. that's been really nice because we do enjoy dinner and a show. Dinner and a show. That's us to a T, dinner and a show. Uh, this is where I work. Woohoo! This is where I spend uh, copious amounts of time. Uh, working as a freelancer and really it's just more important for me to work than it does for us to eat is that really how it worked out that works yeah that that's works. pretty much the truth well the the compromise is either have a dinette that you're constantly having to set up and take down your equipment for us to eat or permanently have up your desk and then we just have a folding four foot table that we sit here and we can all sit down and eat so it ends up you're having to take something up or put something down anyway mm -hmm. and this is a lot easier to have up permanently um and, and I work, you know i work all hours of the night right you know can be super early can be super late and setting that up and taking that down all the time it would be exhausting if this sure. it's a sec like jordan said it's a sacrifice either way yeah um but and we're at campgrounds with picnic tables and you right. know like it's just it's part of it yeah. so we've gotten used to it so. this desk is something that i already had actually this is um butcher block from home depot that uh, i went and purchased and then cut and then sanded and then stained <laughs> and uh you know it doesn't look bad no. so the good news is our measurements were exact That's the true. bad news is our measurements were exact <laughs> I know a lot of people talk about how, oh, in the, you know, diesel pusher, you lose so much space walking in, Well, you're going to have stairs regardless. Um, now with these, we have, we turn this one around and it's really easy. Um, it's a great recliner. We sit in it quite often. Um, it gives us a place for our shoes up front underneath the, um, steering wheel. And then this is Millie's seat. If you've seen our video about Millie, um, she loves sitting up here and being able to watch out the windows all the time thankfully she's not a barker or that would be a problem all in all i'm totally okay having all of our slides back here and you know having our entrance up here 
it's really nice. Um, one of the, the big differences when you walk in this RV is it just feels huge. And it feels that way because we have some massive slides. We have a slide that goes from here at this light all the way down through the bedroom at the other light. Um, it's really deep. It's obviously very long. Then we've got the kitchen's on a slide and the bedroom's on a slide. And so when you have the opposing slides that are so big, it frees up a ton of floor space and so we like that we've got space here um, especially with the dog running around and kids and toys and it's just really nice being able to walk around so one of the other things that we did to make this rv feel more like home was take down the three side balances that most rvs have they're big they're bulky they're usually not so attractive these weren't that bad but we knew we wanted to bring more light in um, we didn't want to bonk up against them. They were cumbersome. We had somebody in our neighborhood sew something really simple. Um, she made some balances for us out of fabric we got from Hobby Lobby and we threw them up with some really cheap curtain rods from Walmart. Uh, made a couple pocket balances and we're good to go. So this is the kitchen right here. Um, this is kind of the uh, standard Newmar kitchen really it's you know this kitchen. from this manufacturer this is pretty much what they all look like we do have a dishwasher down here uh we have an induction cooktop but this is kind of before they started making them removable um i would much rather have the removable version this one's kind of it has it i mean it's it's not it's not bad there it could just be better we have a convection cooktop or convection microwave oven here and then we brought we our air fryer. We have our Ninja Foodie air fryer, which we swear by, because this folds down is a killer little oven air fryer. Super, super great. We gained some extra space here at the pull-out countertop, which is really nice. And so when you look at the kitchen at first, you think, oh, it's so small, um, but it's pretty deep. It's got some decent storage. Um, and in general, I feel like we've been able to cook most of what we cooked at home here in the RV. Um, we definitely cook more on the Blackstone than we used to. Like Jeff, Jeff will take the eggs out to cook out there for breakfast instead of cooking them in here. Um, but it's worked really well. We even added an Ikea portable induction um, to have another burner. So we're making it work. So here we have our half bath. It's been really awesome to have two bathroom points. Um, the door swings like this so you can open it while you're driving down the road even though the slides are in. So it's been really great to just be able to send the kids to the bathroom when we're driving down the road. We have a full-size residential fridge here uh, when, an, with an ice maker, which may be the greatest thing. That's really the biggest reason for me to have a residential fridge <laughs> is so we can have an ice maker. We're so tired of buying a yeah, bag's ice. Absolutely. Back here is our bedroom. Queen size bed. Um, it's a bed. It's a full bed. Or like it's a, a it's a full it's like a full, full queen. It's not an RV queen. queen. Yeah, it's a full queen. Nice. So that helps you get sheets and a replacement mattress and things like that. Which we replace the mattress. Um, we've got tons of storage underneath that we use. Uh, we've got. We did add this bench right here, which we also has storage in it. That's from Target, I think. Yeah. Yep. Jeff and I are able to get all of our clothes and everything into these cabinets here and the ones over the bed, um, and it's worked out pretty well. Of course, we had to downsize, but that's part of the joy of RV living. Um, we really like that we've got the giant pocket door, sliding door here so we can close off the bedroom from the living room, especially when Jeff has to get up and work in the morning. Um, and then we even have a second sliding door here that closes off our bedroom from the hallway. And what's behind this door is part of what makes this RV so special. I thought us living in is what makes it special. Well, that too. Oh, okay. This is our bunk room for our two kiddos. We have a bunk room back here. We have a bunk up top, bunk here. We have storage right here. We have storage underneath here. And we've got a big old window right here. And so Charlotte sleeps up here on the top. She's our 12 year old. And Harrison, our five year old, and he sleeps down here. There's a ton of storage back there for all kinds of stuff. Same up here, actually the top bunk has a little bit more. It's definitely compact. Let me see if I can kind of squeeze it around here. Squeeze it, yep. So, um, it's tight. The, the wide angle lens definitely helps this. But, um, you know, I have gotten on one of these beds before. Not comfortably, but I did do it. So 
we picked this floor plan, the 4312, because of this back half section. We really love that the kids have their own room. They're not just in bunks in the hallway. We can close three doors between them and the living room. So if Jeff and I are up late watching TV or he's working, it doesn't bother them and they don't bother us. It was a tight squeeze getting everything in there, but with great storage here in the hallway for all their clothes. They have all their toys in their bunk room under the bed and it's worked out really well. Now, when Charlie gets a few years older, she may be a little too big, but for now, um, it really works for them. Well, thanks guys for coming out. This is our RV. This is our house, our home. This is where we live and hang out. Hopefully you enjoyed the tour. Um, hopefully you get to come along with us on our adventures around the country, living our crazy life. Thanks so much. Yay, adventure.